Hey, you guys came back. I thought nobody was going to come back. Okay, we're going to talk about profile styles in this segment. So I've got a uh, profile, a surface profile generated. Uh, I've got that pro surface profile superimposed on top of my profile grid. If I take a look at this red line that represents my surface profile, if I hold my mouse over top of it, it tells me it's a surface profile. It tells me the style that it's being used and uh, what it's sampling, the existing ground. That's my source. So if I want to change how that profile looks and that's just the red line that we're looking at right there's two components here I've got the profile itself and then I have the grid that it's superimposed upon so if I want to play around with my profile uh, line I can right click on it and go into my profile properties and change up the object style if I like so I can play around with that if I want and uh, I can go into my profile data tab and find out information about uh, that profile and how it's been generated so you can see there's some information here and some stuff along the top as well so uh, if I want to go in and, and mess around with this uh, existing profile style the one that I'm currently using I can go ahead and click my uh, little editor button and uh, in the display tab for that profile style I can change things like the color, the line thickness, that kind of thing for each one of those uh, different properties for each component. And I can turn on the visibility on or off to add or remove different components as well. Notice that this profile style here is also listed under, of course, in the settings tab under profile, profile styles, and there it is. So I can get to it there as well. So there's two ways, and that's, uh, that's profile styles. Thanks for watching. Bye now.